Ever wondered how to get consistent back bevels on your scribe cuts? Well stick around and I'll show you a shop made jigsaw base that lets you do just that. Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of DP Shop Talk. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at a custom scribe base that I made for my jigsaw. Now, this scribe base has a few advantages over simply just tilting the base on your jigsaw. First, it gives you a larger footprint. So compared to the standard uh, foot plate on the jigsaw, it gives you a larger area. So that comes in handy if you are cutting close to an edge, since it gives more base and contact with the workpiece and a more stable cut. Second, it avoids having to actually tilt uh, the base on your jigsaw. Uh, so if you have your blade set up so it's nice and square to the base, you don't lose that setting. Uh, some saws are easier to adjust than others. This one just has a, a lever lock, uh, so it is pretty quick and easy to adjust. Some of them you gotta get the Allen wrench out and, and adjust it. So this avoids having to do that since the bevel is built right into the base. And third, if your saw is equipped with dust collection like this one, it helps improve that dust collection. Since rather than having a large opening in the base where dust can escape from, especially if you're close to an edge, it has just a small opening for the blade, so it helps keep that dust contained inside the, uh, the dust chamber and get extracted to the vacuum. So I'll quickly show you how I made the base, and then I'll show you how it works. So to make the scribe base, I started off with a scrap piece of hardwood. In this case, it was a piece of walnut. So what I did is I marked about a six degree taper on, uh, on the board and marked that all the way around and then just took a hand plane and planed it down to my layout lines so that I got an even six degree taper. So then I chain drilled and chiseled uh, the slot for the blade to come through. Now that needs to be perpendicular to the top face since that's where the jigsaw will register and the blade is coming down perpendicular from the saw. So if you were doing it on the drill press, which is what I did, then you want to set it top face down and drill down through and then clean it up with the chisel. You could also use uh, the router if, if you want to as well, I just chose to use the drill press. I was kind of in the mood to use some hand tools that day, so hence the hand planing and the chiseling. So then I made some uh, cleats out of quarter inch Baltic birch to kind of create the space for the jigsaw base to sit into. So the way that that works is the jigsaw just drops in and registers in those cleats. And then I made some little uh, three quarter inch diameter discs out of quarter inch Baltic birch and they're attached with a screw off center. So they act like a little cam clamp almost. So what they do is, is rotate on top of uh, the little ridge that's on the jigsaw base and they clamp it on. So there's no tools required to, uh, to take the base on and off, which is something that I wanted to make sure so you don't have to have a certain tool uh, close by to, uh, to switch it in and out. So you can use the scribe base to cut from either the top side or the bottom side of the work, depending on what you prefer. Uh, I prefer cutting from the bottom side with a barrel grip jigsaw just because I find it gives better control and a better line of sight. So I mark out my scribe line on a piece of uh, masking tape and clamp down the workpiece to the MPT. Now if you're interested in how or seeing how I go about the scribe process, uh, as well as a custom scribe jig that I made. Let me know in the comments below if, if there's interest, I can make a video on scribing as well. So I have the uh, dust extraction hooked up to the jigsaw, so we'll turn that on and go ahead and make the cut.
So by making that back bevel, uh, now it's easy to take the block plane just to that leading edge and uh, do any fine tuning necessary, and then it gives a nice tight fit into uh, the wall or whatever you're scribing into against uh, on the face side, which is where it counts. So I hope this scribe base is something that you might find useful in your work. I know that I found it really handy for doing uh, cabinet installs and finish work where you're scribing in a lot of panels and parts and pieces to the wall or the ceiling or the floor. It really lets you get a consistent back bevel quickly and easily. And like I mentioned, it has some advantages over simply just tilting the, uh, the base of your saw. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you have, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, make sure you leave your ideas, questions, and what's worked for you in the comments below. Let's get some shop talk going. So thanks for watching, and until next time, let's talk shop. <music>